Hi! Good morning. Welcome to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, Episode 8. My name is Meg and I will be your host. This is a knitting podcast that also includes tons of other crafty things that I absolutely love. Um, it is Wednesday, September 28th in Rockville, about 10 a.m. or so, and uh, it takes forever to get ready for these. Um, but once I'm, all, once I'm all together, I'm good. Uh, so, we have some exciting news. I promised a 500 subscriber giveaway. And we've hit it. But not just by a little bit. As of this morning, there were 617 subscribers. So hello everyone out there. I am thrilled and so happy to welcome the 150 of you or so that I've just started. Um, I'm so excited. I've had some hellos from Portugal. Um, I've met a few from New Zealand, uh, Canada. I finally saw Canada, hi. And uh, so it was, it was really, really exciting. And I've been reaching out, um, there's a few in France and uh, and it's just been wonderful. Um, so we are doing a giveaway and I didn't post what the prize was. So I'm sorry, I will do that right now. Um, quick to join, all right? So to join you are going to go over to the Ravelry thread, which is Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. I'm still working on some pictures. I'm sorry, I I'll get on that. Um, so Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits on the Ravelry page. You will join the group and then you will post in the group what your favorite yarn to work with is. Now this could be just a current favorite or like a, of all things, you always come back to, you know, this. And um, I said post a picture or a link so that, you know, as we go through the thread and we find something that we absolutely love, we can follow it and <laughs> trot right over and get, you know, so enabler alert right here. Um, so I'm going to share with you some of my favorite yarn. Okay. So when I found this dyer, I absolutely fell in love. Self-striping yarns has a special place in my heart. Um, so I'll tell you about this in a second. <clears throat> so our prize. So this comes in a cute little panda bag um, made by my mom. It's a, um, it's like a little sock pouch and just kind of like so. Um, nothing crazy, but it, it is very roomy and it holds a lot in there. So I love them. Um, in this, you're going to get a ball of It's Not Rocket Science Twisty Sport which is 328 yards, 100 grams, 80% superwash merino, and 20% nylon. All right, and there's all those gorgeous colors. And this is Pneumatic Yarns. Hi, Ashley. I love your yarn. Look how pretty it is. There it is. So it's not rocket science. Then some chocolate. I saw these. Thought they were just too cute. It's a little caramel brownie chocolate. Some teas, Spice House, um, other assorted various teas that include vanilla things, caramely things, chai things. So lots of, um, oh, and a new one I'm trying right now. Uh, Twinnings Earl Grey black tea, but it has jasmine in it. And it does have some floral notes, which I find really interesting. So that's there. And then you get a set of stitch markers, which will have a little baggie in it, um, from me, uh, made by me. Okay. So, um, you'll, you've seen a few of these before, but I'll do it anyway. There's the mermaid. There's a seahorse. There's a seashell. Let's see if I can do this. That's a little easier. There's a turtle. An owl. 
and my pride and joy and what I find is my defining factor in all of my knitting projects. A golden snitch. Little floating snitch. Ah! I love them so much. So you're going to get one, whoever you are. I don't know who you are yet. Um, so far we haven't had, like, an exorbitant amount of people that have gone to the thread. It's only those who have been um, kind of checking on it. Uh, at first, I posted it on Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, and I'm talking about it now, and I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday, I believe, and um, kind of sort of just start passing it around to the community. There's already some really gorgeous yarns in there, and I've tried to, like, either like or agree or love, you know, whatever you've been posting to, to let you know that I've seen it and it's really exciting. Um, uh, but it's been great. Um, someone knit um, a Gramps Cardi and she put a picture up in there of her, her peanut and oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I just, I, I love it. I love it. I love seeing your pictures. I love seeing what you used it for or what you're going to use it. So I love it. Keep going. Um, I will be closing the thread and figure out how to close the thread. I'll close the thread on, um, October 1st and I'll use the random number generator. I will pick a person. I will message said person, um, to let them know that they have one, I will do a mini video um, just saying who that person was, and then I will um, send the prize off. And uh, not not this Saturday, but next Saturday, getting married. So got a, got a little bit going on. Um, so I'll, I'll send that off right away, and then I, I don't have to worry about it when I'm doing everything else. <laughs> so this little prize is, is going to be winging its way to one of you and I hope you love everything in here as much as I love everything in here. It's kind of like me sharing a bunch of favorite things with you. So yeah. All right. So there's the giveaway. Um, I'm going to put him aside now and uh, we'll go back to introductionary things. If you want to find me, I've already mentioned our Ravelry group. Um, I am also on Instagram as sunkiss1217 and I, uh, you can easily direct message me on Instagram or you can direct message me on Ravelry to, um, to write me. Uh, I do check Ravelry pretty much every day now, um, be, because I've started everything so, um, I've gotten a lot better with that. Uh, I would say that I have been debating changing my... Ravelry name, which is Knit Monster One Two One Seven, to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, and I was just wondering, like, would that make it easier on everybody if I just changed Instagram and Ravelry and everything to be one name? Is that easier? I just noticed that Mina did it for the Knitting Expat, and I had been thinking about it, and then I watched her episode, or most of her episode this morning, and she just said she did it, and I'm like, I know Rachel, hi Rachel, uh, from Hey Such a Podcast, was going back and forth with name changing, and um, Katie, hi Katie, from uh, Inside Number 23, had been talking about changing her name so that it wasn't Miss Lavelle all, it was Miss Lavelle, and <sighs> would it make it easier? Let me know to just be a blanket because I really like the name Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. So I am cool with being Bad Wolf Girl on everything because I, I just love, I love Dr. Who so much. Um, so yeah. All right. So moving on to what am I drinking? Well, this was Starbucks Instant Cafe Mocha. Ooh, so shiny. Oh, that's tough. All right, I'm gonna try it that way. Cafe Mocha. Um, this was delicious. This is also gone because it took me so long to set up. So while I was writing show notes, this disappeared. And so to start the podcast off, I'm back to um, the very nice pumpkin spice latte. So I am I'm in pumpkin spice right now, but I've already had a mocha, so I might be talking. A million miles a minute this podcast. Oops. Um, and what am I wearing? Well, 
I have my Malabrigo Cardi. This was based off of the pattern um, of the Harvest Cardigan from Tin Can Knits. And um, it's short. It's a short one. Let's see if I can do this without upsetting the coffee. So it's short, it goes into here. Um, I wear it with a lot. I've been wearing it a lot less recently because I made my featherweight and I wear my featherweight everywhere. My featherweight comes down to here and it keeps this part of my arm a little warmer. I think that this would keep me warm. However, it's not, it's not long enough to really get the full part of my arm here. So I am a little chilly when I when I get cold, but um, it goes with almost everything. Uh, when I saw it on the shelf, I was like, that needs to be a cardigan. It needs to be a cardigan. And then I made the Pearl 10 cardigan, which I showed on here. Um, I don't think I showed this one. So I just love it. And this, yeah, so this was Malabrio uh, 872 Purpuras. I guess I'm saying that right. And I mean, just look at it. When when you see that color, you're like, yes, look at that. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. Now I've heard Malabrigo bleeds. I didn't block this, so I wouldn't know yet. Um, we'll see. I mean, it didn't really, it does everything I want it to, but it does have a weird, I think, extra bit of fabric right here that doesn't need to be and I think I this is this has been a problem in more than one cardigan for me so I am taking note I've I've noticed it after the fact that I did all this stuff you know um so my picture where I have that henna tattoo on my shoulder from from Ravelry isn't is making this cardigan and knitting this cardigan um and I was just so antsy I think I you know, I didn't want to make a full cardigan. I just wanted it off the needle so I could wear it. And then I did all the time. Um, so I have this second skein still. I do finished objects. Now, I had finished these a while ago. So I'm calling them a finished object, but they weren't super recent. Um, these are a gift net. And uh, they are in the um, lightning storm colorway from Heritage Prints and um, they don't they don't exactly they're the same yarn but they don't exactly match they're um, kind of short socks and these are a gift but I'm not saying for who on the podcast just in case just in case um, they are for teeny feet so I'll give you that clue um, these are small sock blockers they did come in yay and uh, I have not actually blocked these yet but I am considering it. Um, I mean, the yarn is plenty soft enough without blocking them. I'm just wondering if it would help any. So uh, I haven't blocked Bubble. I haven't blocked Lost Lakes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have a block party <laughs> and um, get all of them in one little bath for themselves and uh, and block it all up. So. I'm really excited about that. So this was one and um, I'm just I'm showing them off because I love the yarn and if I can get a chance to get my hands on this again I will. The last time I went in to um, Woolwinders which is my LIS my local yarn store um, they did not have any more of this but they did have a Christmas colorway which I snatched up and I will be knitting socks out of for Christmas pretty soon so I'm very excited about that. Um, also, this is my, my crochet piece. Um, this is inspired by Luna's cardigan in the Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix when she, no, yeah, no, Order of the Phoenix. And this is when she is feeding the, um, Thestrals, the meat. She's wearing this cardigan. And it is crocheted. It's not a knit cardigan. It's a crocheted cardigan, which is why it had to be crocheted. It's um, pretty much the exact color. At least that's how it looks on my monitor. It's purple. Um, and I've looked up photos of like behind the scenes stuff and it looks purple there too. And it has crocheted buttons on it. This is a gift. So um, after Christmas, they will know it was theirs. 
Um, so this is my Luna cardigan and I absolutely love it. Um, it's super duper soft. I got the yarn at uh, AC Moore and it was super soft solids, I want to say. Um, Caron. And the uh, pattern I found on YouTube by googling how to make a cardigan crochet. So, um, I, I believe it was, um, I don't know, she sounded kind of like Russian and she had this like really pretty accent and, um, she walked me through doing this, how to make a, a yoke and everything. Uh, I think she was doing a baby cardigan, so I just kept increasing until it was the right size and then left it at that. But yeah, so my, my gorgeous Luna, I love her. The light is going in and out a little bit today. We have a, uh, quite a cloudy day um, and I did open up the blinds a bit more for light so trying um, so finished objects as far as dyeing I did say that I wanted to do this and I think it turned out the way I wanted it to um, some parts are slightly pinker okay so here is galaxy I wanted to do a glitter yarn See, this is, this is pinker than I think I want it to be. I might go over it again with like more purples and make this more purple, more like that. Um, but that's really pretty. So I don't know, I might leave it, I might not. This is on a uh, Glimmer from Knit Picks and it was bare and I dyed over it with Rip Dye. And I am, I am really happy with how it turned out. Um, let me unwind one so you can really so it kind of looks tie-dyed I was trying to make like a nebulous you see and then the stars and then it goes into the black especially when I hold it like that it definitely looks like some kind of thing out of the out of space and I tried to get the black very black because it's very, very dark in space, but how cool. So, um, featherweight cardigan, again, because I could have 10 of them and I think I will. Um, I reach for my featherweight all the time. So I'm really excited. I only dyed up two because I think that's enough. I'm gonna make three quarter length sleeves. I'm gonna make it to the a little bit past my natural waist more like my hip length similar to my other one but not like very long and then um, I'll do a rolled edge which eh, I could make it work with um, black glimmer from knit picks if I really needed to so I'm not super concerned if I use all of this on the sleeves and the the whole thing I could I could kind of make it work on the on the band but yeah so there's Galaxy. After Galaxy, I um, needed to dye up more Cursed Child. So here it is on the Glimmer base. What do you think? It's not quite this white, I don't think, but is it? Maybe it is. I love these spots where it kind of gets dirty with the brown and the glimmer coming through the black. I love that you can still see the glitter on the black. It's not like it dyed over or anything. So I dyed up two because I want to make most of the cardigan in glitter. I'm going to um, use the one of the other skeins that I have for the sleeves if I have to, but I'm going to see as how much I can get done alternating these two skeins for the body because I think the glitter for the body just really speaks to me. Um, but yeah, I'm in absolute love with them. This, this color right here, that just speaks to my heart. I love it. So this is my cursed child and um, I really do want this by Christmas. So I might be breaking some rules and casting something on. Castanitis, it's a real thing. Well, 
since there is a large amount to talk about, I'm gonna go straight into Mr. Postman. So let me start showing you some of this stuff. Um, I'll go by where it's from in sections. Uh, so let's start with Joanne Fabrics. Um, from Joanne Fabrics, I got some fabrics. So a little glittery, but you can, you can see them. I got a Halloween pumpkin and candy corn bag that has um, little spider webs on the back of it. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanna, I wanna make this into something. I'm gonna learn how to sew. That's what this is coming down to. I also got some Jack Skellington fabric because Jack Skellington. Look at that. Oh, love it. And Sally, Jack and Sally. Um, I also adore this and I can't wait to get my little paws on it. Little paws on it. And then um, I am going to make a skirt. I bought a pattern from Simplicity uh, called an easy skirt. Nine. I took that pattern home. Damn it. Uh, sorry. I took that pattern home. I'll have to look it up and figure out what I did. But um, I'm reaching out to my sewers out there. I want to make a 50s style skirt that has like a half circle, you know, lots of volume on it. Um, to the knee, I'm about 5'4-ish. Yep, five, four and a half. And I want to make a skirt. I'm thinking of looking into Gertie's patterns because she is my style, which you might have gleaned by now. And I need to know how much yardage I need. This is two yards and I have four yards in stash. So I have a lot of yardage now of this pattern. I am positive I have enough for the skirt. I just, I don't know what pattern to go with. So suggestions? I really, really could use some help here. Um, I do need a pattern because I've never said anything. My mom's going to be helping me out with this one. So um, hopefully this could be a Christmas outfit if I can get the... Ooh, birthday! Everybody's making birthday outfits. My birthday's in December, so I have some time. A birthday skirt would just be awesome in this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm! Okay, okay. Okay, so that's happening. <laughs> that's happening. Um, so then I, I also got, because I saw it online and I thought it was really interesting, it's called a wool-free sock stripes. So um, if any of you have um, problems with wool, this could be the yarn for you. I haven't worked with it yet. I'll let you know what I think of it. So far, it's very soft. Um, the twist doesn't look too tight, but it looks interesting to work with. This is recommended for US ones, so I'm gonna stick with the recommended. I might even need a zero to get uh, that nice tight gauge on it. I got it in um, berry, let's see, what do you call it? Berry blush, bush, <laughs> berry bush. So there's berry bush. And um, the autumnal stripes really just spoke to me, so I got one for uh, myself as well. Uh, two balls make one pair of adult socks, it says. Um, and this one is, where's, darn it, Phoenix, there it is. There's Phoenix, and it was just super autumnal, and I just, oh, it looked so good. So um, these are gonna take my US ones pretty soon, and um, I'm excited. It's going in. It's going in stash right now because it's gonna. It's gonna take a bit. But these might be a November cast on a nice autumnal palette. Maybe Thanksgiving socks, so I can give thanks that I can knit. Right. So um, these are our two Joanne fabric loves, and um, I can't wait to test them out. And I'll let you know what I think of the wool free. Started it on Instagram, and I saw Awesome Granny post 
that she was getting rid of sock yarn because she's just not a sock yarn person and she realized that knitting socks is not for her. She does tons of other things. She wants to branch out, but she has all of these skeins of yarn that are just staring at her because she's collected them and she's offering to sell them. So what did I do? I scooted my butt over to Ravelry and decided to check out if there was anything I wanted. Well, there was. This is my very first um, Desert Vista Dye Works. So the DVDs I've seen all over Instagram, I finally get the name. <laughs> Took a while. Um, but this is my very first. And first impression, it's very soft. It kind of reminds me of a cottony feel. But it is Superwash Merino Wool and Nylon. And it's, um, it's very nice. It's very squishy. Uh, this is Sakwe Viso. Uh, and the colorway is... Here comes the Zombride. And you know why I had to buy it. I mean, it's a Zombride. Um, so it's got all these really pretty tones in there. Let me see if I can... Can you see it? Is it coming up? Yeah. And it says it's self-striping. So it's going to be white, and then it's going to have like a variegation of these like zombie earthy colorways. It looks very Easter to me actually because of the light green and pinks. Um, but I'm trying to imagine it as like the green skin of the zombie with like the You guys put up with a lot. I'm weird. Um, so here we go. Yeah, here comes the zombride. All zombified. This is going on the honeymoon because it's a zombie bride colorway. Super vanilla socks, possibly a Hermione's brand. Um, Hermione's everyday socks. I haven't knit that yet and I've heard good things about the pattern and I think that that would just jazz these up a little bit, but I don't know if I'm really gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I, I enjoy some vanilla socking. I really do. Um, but I, I was thinking about it. So I'm gonna look that up and see what's been already been done on it and then see if I like it and then make a decision from there. But yeah, so thank you awesome granny, I love it. So then let's let's talk about nitpicks and how dangerous they are. Nitpicks, I love you. So, Nitpicks is an online store that um, is available in US and Canada and they have uh, yarn that they sell um, at a discounted price, then you would probably get it out at the yarn stores because it doesn't have to be sold through a third party. So um, I'm going to start with Cordial. Cordial? Cordial. And uh, this is a really nice wine burgundy colorway, um, reminding me of Cordial wine. And um, you're going to see in a second how amazing this is with another one that I have. And this is about to get cast on, hence, hence the uh, cake form here. Um, this couldn't wait. This could not wait. It had to be caked up because this is this is happening. Um, so this is uh, a tonal on their <clears throat> stroll fingering. I knew that. I just blanked. Uh, their stroll fingering and this is gorgeous and I can't wait to work with it but it's gonna go over there in a second. Then um, I got seashell tonal which is baby pinks and whites. Really pretty. A nice neutral gray, which I felt was important. This is Thunderhead Tonal. This will get used for something. Nice neutral grays. Really great. Yep. And I, um, I had to try their Hawthorne Fingering Cosmic Speckle. I was hoping that this would play nice with the Palmia shawl to be a friend to my happy feet. It doesn't. But do you know what it does do? Look how gorgeous that is together. Look at that. It's like they're made for each other. There's this little bit of mulberry. Ooh, mulberry. That's what it reminds me. A little bit of mulberry in this that reminds me of this. So it's like they go together. Oh, sorry, it's blowing it out. There you go. That's better. So this is going to be a shawl, like a scarf shawl, um, eventually. But 
Not quite yet. This, uh, I'm really excited about. I do like the speckles, um, but it just doesn't go with what I thought it would. So um, this is going to be a project on its own. This one isn't done. It has another job first. And then also from Knit Picks, and one of them kind of lost his little ball band, um, I was watching Sue and Chelsea. They were talking about uh, Knit Picks and how awesome it is. This is the Brava Worsted. Um, so Brava Worsted. It's very soft. It's very squishy. I hope it doesn't pill. I want to make a bobble hat. A bobble hat. So it'll go from the red, red into the white gray sheeps and then it'll go into a gray sky with the snow being this color and black faces i think i might knit a little swatch just to see if i like the three working in that fashion together if there's enough of a difference between them i mean i see it now but will i like it then so this is um this is another little hmm little hmm it was $1.99 $1.99 right it's so squishy and nice I love it and the colors are gorgeous this would make a really pretty sweater in my opinion or that or all of them yeah so they're gonna hang out for a little bit I have to show this on the podcast right away um because I really 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 can't resist using this bag this weekend I can't resist. I have to. So here comes the crinkling. Here is the bag, which is just too cute. Look at these little, oh my gosh, these little faces. All right, how do I get it out? There we go. This is from Naughty Gnome Crafts. And what happened was, All right, the crinkling is done. We're okay now, you can hear. Okay, so what happened was I was on Ravelry and I was looking around and I happened to look at the down bar and um, this caught my eye. This right here caught my eye. Ooh, it's Delina. I knew that when I ordered it, but I forgot, and I'm really happy now. So this is a skein, Sound of the Moon hand-dyed yarn. Um, it's a fingering weight. It's called Witch's Brew. So it was part of this whole Halloween cal. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, immediately getting cast on as a shawl. And I think I'm going to do just like a garter shawl so I can do it really fast and wear it for autumn. But it has Stellina and it's all speckly and goodness. Oh my gosh, look at that. This bleeding. This is gorgeous right there. So I got to figure out, let's see, 400 and some yards. I can check. I have a few shawl basic patterns that I've uh, kind of looked at before. I would um probably wear it around my neck like like Rachel wears her palmia. Um, but yeah, so this is a skein of yarn and this all came with together as a kit. Um, oh, this is so cool. All right, so this is the skein of yarn that it came with. Then you get these fun little stitch markers. There's four of them even, and, and you know what? I can even handle the spider. I do not like spiders typically. Um, Ron and I have a huge um, likeness there. Yes, I just made a Harry Potter reference. So right here, you've got Nutty Gnome Crafts. These were absolutely gorgeous. The bags were gorgeous. The yarn was gorgeous. So I would definitely go over and check her out. Sarah, you do amazing work. This is just stunning. So you get these cute little stitch markers that came with it. I love this little angry kitty too. And then, ah, oh, yay, there's a little tag. I'll trim that off. That kind of got crazy there. Oh, ooh, look how big that is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Um, okay, so for, for reference, uh, this is an iPhone 6S case for an OtterBox, which is bigger than the phone itself, as you know. Um, 
So that's about how big it is. And it's just gorgeous. Let's take a look. Got a little tab up here. Got a pull. <gasps> my favorite. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in love. I'm in absolute love. <gasps> okay, you're getting all real reactions here, people. Oh my gosh. The candy corn on the inside is insane. I actually got candy corn yarn, so that is totally going in here when it shows up. Um, and does it fit the whole? All right, so that's about one skein of yarn in there, if you can see. All right, and it could definitely hold another, so this will be perfect for a shawl, and it's got to be a Halloween shawl. I mean, come on. Ah, oh, and then the stitch markers go in there. This is just gorgeous. All right. So then, as you know, I pick Nomadic Yarns as my prize giveaway um, because I love Nomadic Yarns. And I felt like I showed all this to you, but I really didn't because it arrived on either the Wednesday after the podcast or the Thursday after the podcast last week. So I've got some Nomadic Yarns to share. Um, this one's already caked up because I couldn't wait. This is Neville, and he's a Harry Potter colorway. And um, Neville is going to get two pairs of socks out of this ball. Mark my words. It's a sport weight. I prefer the sport because I really like the um, thickness and the sturdiness of it. Now this is Hawthorne Fingering Fawn from Knit Picks, and they are going to be socks. Um, and these are gonna be, this is together, two pairs of socks are gonna happen um, with heels, toes, and cuffs and the body of the sock. So I'm very, very excited. But anyway, that'll be coming later. So Neville, Bellatrix showed up finally because I was very excited about that. Oh, and look how flippin' perfect. I mean, were they made for each other or what? Look at that. Look at that. It's like the exact color. I'm making serious socks with this color for the heels, toes, and cuffs for myself, too. Oh, this is the cast on. It's coming back later. And then I have three more. I love the ball form. I do. It's so pretty. It's so cute. And they're actually kind of like, they're dense, they're hard, but I am like the worst at getting them out of this ball form and into cake form. I don't know. I, I have it rolling around in the, um, in, a, in like a bowl or in a box. And then inevitably some of my cake is tighter than the others because I'm pulling on it. And then I got a huge tangle in Neville which I think I, I did. And then um, I caked up Bellatrix. That went easier. But the end of it, I had to like gently take apart or the middle was going to pop out. And you know, it just more. So I did get through that better, but it was, it was a little tough. Um, so here we have Rhinebeck. I, I saw this on her Instagram last year. Um, because I was like going all the way back through stuff and I just fell in love with it. It's, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I got Rhinebeck because I'm missing Rhinebeck. I would be going. I would be. I would be there and I would meet all my podcaster people that I watch on TV and I would be so happy. I'm going to be on my honeymoon. <laughs> So, I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm whining for naught. I'm, I'm going to have an excellent time. So, this is my bit of Rhinebeck this year. Next year, I'm going to see all you there because I am setting the date. I'm going to be there. Um, I'm so excited. I really, really want to go. And my mom's going to go, too. But this is the only bit of Rhinebeck I'm getting this year, so I had to. Um, then, this one's called Homecoming. And I got this because this looks like Harry's Quidditch game. So I've been calling it um, Quidditch in my head because you've got the red and gold 
of Gryffindor. Harry's bron uh, brown hair, the brown of the broom, the gray of the broom, gray of like, like, I don't know, any kind of like the posts or the, just the wind whipping around the sky, dark gray as a sky. It just looks like Quidditch to me. So this is my Gryffindor Quidditch in my head, but it's called Homecoming if you actually want to buy it. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is another, this is right behind Bellatrix for a cast on. Um, I did wind off about 12 to 15 yards of each of them. Excuse me. Yards? Yeah, yards. 12 to 15 yards of each of them so that I could knit into the blanket. Um, but this is right behind Bella. And the last one is on a Stellina base. And this is Midnight Society. And this just had such autumnal feels to me when I saw, ooh, when I saw her uh, knitted up. I, that's what I'm most attracted to is the fact that she will knit all of her colorways so that you can see how they stripe and you can see how they work. And that's what I like to see. Cause I, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't like all those colors together. I like that color, that color, that color, but I don't like that one or whatever. And then not even in hers, just in general. Um, and then I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't get something that I really wouldn't be happy with. Um, so Midnight Society, since it was midnight, I figured it had to be on a Stellina base because midnight. So it is sparkly. I think there's more sparkles hiding in there. This doesn't look too sparkly from the outside, but I, I think it's in there and I might be on gold Stellina if I'm seeing. It does kind of look gold, yeah. Could be gold Stellina in there. So, where are all of these living, you may ask? Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this. So this was in my closet classroom, abandoned, and I adopted it. It is a hefty birdcage. And inside the birdcage, you can see I'm holding my yarn. So I've got Raven, Molly Weasley, Ravenclaw, uh, Potions Master, um... Halloween, McGonagall, Ron, next to his mom, Molly. Um, those are three more, there you go. Those are three more of my nomadic yarns that I haven't knit up yet. McGonagall is one of my favorites. And um, the purple in her stripes is also perfect with this, but I feel that it goes too red. So this is probably gonna get a dark gray because I felt that that's more her. She doesn't have that much red. The, the olive green really speaks to me for her. Um, so anyway, this oh, hefty birdcage has been housing all of my skeins here. So I get to look at them in the most beautiful way possible. Um, and I'm just, I'm really, really thrilled and excited to have them in here. They just make me so happy. So there it is. Um, I don't think I'll ever have it hanging. I think I'll always have it sitting because it is really heavy and uh, I just don't want to put the strain on it, but it's really, really gorgeous. I debated using this for the wedding, but my mom got me this gorgeous card box instead, so it's going to become a box of socks eventually, and I guess these will all become box of socks anyway, so they'll move from one to the other. Okay, the ones that are not. This is Knit Picks. This is Knit Picks. This is Knit Picks. That's Knit Picks. So these and that one. Everything else came in the bag. So I am set on heels, toes, and cuffs for almost any color I could wish. This came in several different um, lots. I'm going to say. So this is soft embrace. There was also like a, a vibrant one and there was a third one that was like brights or neutrals or something. Um, so this, this sock yarn, like if you're looking for heels, toes, and cuffs, this looks gorgeous. I can't even wait to crack into this and really start using it up. Um, this one is going to go with that. I don't know if you remember, I showed, um, like a biscotte 
biscotti type of thing. This is definitely, definitely happening. But yeah, so um, this is my box of beauteousness right now. And it just sits on my shelf like this. And it's just so pretty. And I get to choose any color I want. And it came with, I want to say over 12 skeins in the bag for nothing. All right. And super, super cheap for yarn. So I'm thrilled. I'm very excited. I highly recommend it already. Um, just based on the softness, the squishiness, um, the ply, everything feels good. Doesn't smell weird or anything. Um, I am really, really, really excited. These, um, cream toes and cuffs are definitely going to happen. This one actually is, uh, this one is Knit Picks. It's glitter too. So, um, quite a few skeins of squishable lovingness and I can't even wait. I did originally try to make this with the cordial, cordial, but this one has more purple and it was the right color. So this is close, but it's going to probably be a Christmas colorway. So yeah. So now that we've gotten through finished objects and Mr. Postman, I would like to show you what I'm actually doing. So here we go with what's on my needles. Whoops! Um, and there are quite a few that I want to share with you. Um, some you'll be very proud of my progress. Uh, one of them should have been an FO. And it's not Sanderson Sisters, which I really thought I was going to just devote all my time to. The problem is the slip stitch pattern that I'm doing in there, when I hit a new color change, I slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, I have to look. Because if I miss it, then I have to tink back until I hit it, and then I go every other, every other. And then I'm all right for that little bit of color, but then it comes up to a change again. And so every four rows or so, I have to be you know, looking down, looking down, looking down. And when I'm talking to people or when I'm just working, watching podcasts, I get distracted and it's not the greatest. So I have been putting a ton of work into my serious socks. So when you saw these last, they were, what, round here? And I was like, I'd love to get up to the heel. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. This is Saturday. So Saturday, I got up to the heel, and I think I got two rows through. So I got up to the heel. It took me an hour and 16 minutes to put in two heels. Still takes me a while, but there it is. The whole heel, I've knit all the way up to here, which is fantastic. And now I'm the snitch is up here because I am ready to start the one-by-one one ripping. So these are almost done. These are about that far about that far from being done almost but i just i got distracted with something else and i didn't want to work on something that i my brain was somewhere else on another project i just wanted to work on the other one so i was like you know what these are for christmas i'm not concerned about getting them done right now so i just put them down for a bit I put them down. So the colorway is Nomadic Yarns. It is um, her basic sock, trusty sock, um, cast on 26 stitches around. And then I went up a little bit. You can kind of see where they fatten out a little because they just look so thin. And I was worried. So I did go out a little. Um, I panicked. And I figured the foot gets a little wider at that point anyway, so it, it the toe will have a nice tight and then it'll go up a little. And I'm not I'm not so concerned. But yeah, these turned out great. Um, I have knit picks, toes and lilac, toes and heels, and I debated not doing the cuff in lilac, but I think I will, just for uniformity. Heels, toes, and cuffs in lilac. Uh, so I have a good bit left on my serious colorway and I, I'm very glad because I am going to have, look how perfect, heels, toes, and cuffs with cordial. I really need to learn how to say that word properly. It's bugging me. I think I say, I'm saying it weird. Anyway. 
my next one um, is the Moon Knight Pumpkin. All right, Moon Knight Pumpkin. And these really sped off the needles during the car. I think when you saw them last, they were toes. I think they were just toes. I don't even know if I had yarn attached to them yet. But look at the Arne and Carlos. It's gorgeous and it's called Moon Knight. And this pumpkin color works perfectly with that pumpkin color. So I'm thrilled. This section turned out really cool. I, again, snitch, can't even have to. Um, and that's right, you see it. Saturday, I put in two sets of toes. One in the morning, one in the evening. Very proud of myself. Fish lips kiss on the heels and toes. But um, after that, they didn't get touched. These heels took a lot out of me doing the two pairs um, because that's uh, like three hours of knitting, two hours of knitting, which sounds like so much, but it just wasn't. But anyway, I love the colorway. I can't wait to work on my socks, which are summer night socks, um, the teal ones. And I didn't mean to, but these match. So what yeah, so there they are. Next, there was a little bit done on Sanderson sister socks. You can see that I got through this black stripe, through the green one, made the switch, and now I'm in the black. Um, so they're coming along really, really nicely, really beautifully. I do want them off the needles. I swear I do. Uh, but I just haven't had, I mean, so many other gift knits that I've been working on. Um, but these should definitely get some love this week. I know I said that last week, uh, but I, I just adore them. This is um, Hiverland, uh, and they're on Etsy, and they're just gorgeous, and yeah. So Sanderson Sisters, for me, it's the epitome of Halloween yarn. These Sanderson Sisters socks are living in my Stitch in You bag which is my little monster party. And I love them. I love them so much. Now you saw earlier that um, this bag came in the mail and I told you I couldn't wait to get started on it. So I did. And um, here's my yarn inside. Now I'll show you this one all caked up. So there's Witch's Brew and it's got Selena in it. And it's just beautiful. Then um, I ordered, is this the black one? So this is black and um, I left the tag over there. I'll have to put it, the name properly in. But this is the black uh, kettle dye from Knit Picks in Hawthorne. And I bought this originally to go with Patrick's Happy Feet from Plymouth Yarn Company. Um, this is splash hand dyed yarn. Now, do you see this? I got black to go with it and I got conifer, which is this like green to go with it. See, I thought they would play really, really nice together. And um, yeah, like that was that green speckle is kind of where I based my choice on this. So this is what I got it for, but when I put them together, they were just perfect. They were perfect for me. So I am actually using conifer in my own and um, I'll just grab another one for Pat later. And um, I am using my Chiagu 7, 7s, 4.5 millimeter needles. Look at this. I posted a photo on Instagram and it was about that big, about that big. And um, I did a bit more work on it, <laughs> just, a, just a bit. Um, so this is kind of like how I'm, I don't know, I'm picturing wearing it all like, you know, scrunched around my neck type of thing or um, possibly like over the shoulder. Oh, I love it, I love the colorway. So there's Witch's Brew, this is how it knits up. I have on there, a um, progress keeper so I did 
this in one night and then I did this last night and I'm using one of the keepers that she gave me. Um, it's the Evil Kitty. Uh, and this is super soft on size sevens, but there's not like, it's not very holy or anything. Like it doesn't look like lacy. So this was perfect for me. And then I've just put in some conifer. You see that? It's green. Um, and I'm going to keep all of the color changes, which don't look so bad right now. Um, I'm going to keep all the color changes on one side. That's my goal is to have one side with just the clean stripes and one side with all of the bump stripes so that that way I can wear it with one or the other. Um, so I've had a blast just working on this for the garter. Um, I just make one on either side of the little um, stitch marker here and um, I do a yarn over and then I knit the two end ones, turn around, knit the two end ones, yarn over, knit the yarn over and keep going. Um, and so that's how I've been increasing so I have this little like yarn over garter band on the bottom but you can almost you almost can't see it which is fine by me um so I'm just thrilled with how much I got done on this I could actually stretch it out just a little bit more um thrilled 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 and this has been my pet project at night all I want to do is work on this all I want to do is wear it for everything um so everything else has been put on pause. Yeah. So I am mixing all three, the black, the green conifer, and um, the original witch's brew. And I wiggle them all into my project bag. And it does fit them all. And we'll see how long it fits the shawl. But I, this bag had to be used for her yarn, clearly, and um, I have been on the hunt for um, a shawl that I can copy so that I can see, like, I, I started a stripe here. I don't know how long I want to make it. I don't know if I want to make it just the two and then go back to Witch's Brew and then do another two or do, like, a section of an inch. I do want to have larger sections of green going towards the bottom. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it'll just take a coloring page and I need to figure out what kind of sizing I want to do for this. So that's why I, I paused there because I wasn't sure if I was done with just those two rows and I wanted to do another one another time. But yeah, on my sevens, I adore it. It's working up really fast. This was just two days of work, two nights of work, really. I don't take it out of the house now because I want to work on the socks when I'm out. So I love it, love it, love it. This is my super pet project. And this was in a kit um, that I showed you, so everything everything as far as the um, stitch markers bag and yarn came together the other two yarns I got off of knit picks and uh, the cord I got off of Amazon and I love Chiagus they're my pets so this is my cutie little bag I need to learn how to make bags like this feels very sturdy so I'm assuming there's some interfacing in there I don't know what interfacing is I don't understand how to use it but I like the idea I love the little flat bottom. That makes me happy. Yeah. And a few whips from the vaults here. Um, I am pulling out some old stuff. I had noticed today when I was looking for something to do, what am I wearing? I did end up picking up the cardigan because I don't think you'd seen it yet. And I've been wearing my featherweight every single week. Yeah. So excuse me. Um, and so I decided that, um, in my favorite color, my Tishelt needed to come out of the ball. So I almost wore this on the podcast because honestly, you wouldn't know it wasn't done. I mean, except for the sleeves. Uh, but like... <laughs> and I, I really needed to like kind of wait to, to do it. So, um, I am, I'm really thrilled with this. I can't wait to wear it. It's very, very soft. It's knit picks um, in the uh, Precocia fingering colorway. It's very soft. It's not see-through. I can't wait for this to be done. This neckline is just gorgeous when it's on. I will probably do maybe a crocheted edge just to clean it up once and that'll be it. The sleeves are going to stay pretty darn short. I think I might just knit a little band to kind of cinch it in a little bit, but it's going to be like a short sleeve sweatery type of thing. 
Um, I'm going to do an Ander sweater. It'll be this body, but right about there, it'll start the snow, and then it'll have the um, trees, and then it'll have the bottom, and that'll be in green and gray. And that'll be my Christmas sweater. So I'm not starting that for a little bit. I really, really want to get this one done. This this was flying off the needles in the summer. I was showing you pictures. I used a whole ball. I just attached the new ball. And then more sock knitting went up. Sweater knitting went down. It happens, right? It happens. Um, so I'm hoping that my desire for this one will go to town again. Cozy Memories Blanket. Ta-da! And as promised, I did get a few more done. So when I left off, Little Bubble was over here by herself. And I put Frost next to it because these two went together in a sock, so I wanted to have them together. Then I got Nomadic Yarns in. I wound all of my yarns uh, a little bit off, and I knit Neville. This is um, a bit of a thicker one, and I, you can't really tell, but I ran out. So there, the, the last three rows are a different yarn. You can't really tell, thank God. You can tell a little bit more in person, barely. But I, I ran out of yarn, I couldn't believe it. Luckily I was sitting right here and um, was able, oh no, the other one. So I did run out of yarn. Uh, I did run out of yarn there, and then I had Neville sitting next to me, so I just continued knitting. Neville was all in one Neville. But, oh, look how gorgeous, and I put it next to the brown because that's who's gonna go together. So you can see how gorgeous they're gonna look. Then I did these diagonal from each other. This is Elfin um, from uh, Madeline Tasha, I believe. And these two went together in Patrick's sock, so that's why I put that one touching that one. Um, there's my little crochet. And then I started Ron. Uh, no. Ron's over here. Who did I start? Who are you? Who are you? Hmm. It's got gold. It's got brown. Uh, I'll have to figure out who this one is when it's done. I'll know it once I see uh, which one it compares to. Uh, gold and brown. Yeah, I'm thinking this is homecoming. Could be Rhinebeck, depending on the red. But I think this might be homecoming right in here, which I think I put here because of the Harry Potter on the night bus. Um, and then Bellatrix is gonna go above Hedwig. Uh, so it's coming out really, really gorgeously. This is going to be my Cozy Memories shrug, and I will just wear it proudly. Wear it proudly like a, like a shrug. Um, so it's coming re along really, really gorgeously, and I can't wait to uh, get a few more squares on this done. But yeah, so yay, proud of me, I did three. Three is a lot for a week, because it does take me longer than I think it will. Um, so yay. Yay, yay, yay. I couldn't believe I, I underwound Neville. I'm afraid I did that to more than one nomadic yarn ball. I underwound what I needed. So luckily I still have them and none of them are on the needles yet. And I wound off a little bit of extra for Bellatrix in case I'm short. And then uh, I can use both ends of the ball and not worry about having to cut and splice in anything else. So next we have dreams dream 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 when i want you in my arms when i want you and all your charms whenever i want you all I so i have a lot of socks i want to cast on um, I want my Zombrides ready and wound up so that I can take them on the honeymoon. I really, really, really want to start my Bellatrix ones. I'm antsy for those. And I almost cast on Neville because I was so desperate to do it. So I think I'm going to cast these both on and do toes in one day. And then, um, ooh, it holds four skeins. 
I don't think I can fit a project in after that, but it holds four skeins. So um, at least they're all in one spot there. And then um, I think I also will be putting these on the wish knits because these are really fun and pretty. I'm excited about them. And then of course I'm feeling a hat and there's a color work cow coming up and bobble would um, qualify. So uh, instead of doing the whole Anders sweater for the color work cow, I think I'm just gonna do the bobble hat. It'll be shorter and quicker hopefully and then I can get through it and enter in et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, um, lots of it there. And then uh, Geek Socks. So if you check on my Instagram, I found a pattern called Geek Socks that has um, a slip stitch pattern uh, where you kind of go every three and then the next row it's some and then one of the next color. So it looks like little peaks and points. Um, and it's really cute, really gorgeous. I can't wait to start on those. Um, so that yarn is actually already wound up and I'm just, I'm really excited to work with it. Um, I meant to do it a while ago. I got distracted with the bubble felicis. So I'm going to do sunset felici and I'm really excited about that. It's after Bellatrix, after Neville. So it's in the waiting, in the queue. It's in the queue. <laughs> So there's been a lot going on. Um, so yeah, um, this kind of wraps up this episode. Uh, I'll talk just a little bit about my life and then I'll, I'll close it out. So if you're leaving now, thanks for coming. I'm sorry it took so long to get to actual knitting content. I just felt like I had a lot to share with you. Um, I think Mr. Postman will be smaller <laughs> from now on. I think we're good uh, for a bit. All right, so if you're still sticking around, welcome to Babel. <laughs> um, things that I've been thinking about is the honeymoon and what I'm gonna pack and what I'm gonna wear, what I'm gonna knit, which is clearly so important. Um, uh, I've been putting aside skeins. I've been working on projects that I wanna, wanna bring with me. I wanna bring my featherweight there. Um, I've been packing dresses and stuff. I have to check the weather. I've heard it's like 80-ish around um, this time of year and I'm really excited about that. Um, I think I will bring a shawl. I say shawl. I think I'm going to bring like a scarf or pat, but I'm going to call it, it's like a shawl construction. Yeah. Know what I mean? Um, like a, a shawl construction. So I'm, th I've been thinking about that and, um, I've also been, thinking about the Ren Fair this weekend. Um, we are taking our puppy, T, to the Ren Fair for the first time, and um, she's gonna be a dragon. Uh, and I did post a picture of her dragon wings, the red ones, but um, since, since we were out at AC Moore this weekend, no, Michael's, we were out at Michael's this weekend, um, we found this. It's a little dragon. Now her face doesn't fit in this, uh, so it kind of sits on her back, like so. And then her tail sticks, this tail sticks up on her body and it velcros under her belly. She is a chunk monster and this is a large, but she is now an extra large because she's over 35 pounds. So I am just extending the belly band with some extra Velcro. So I'm just gonna take this off. She's actually more like there. Um, little chunk monster, terrible. Uh, so yeah, I just need to, I need to just adjust her, her band and then she'll be good. This fits her pretty well in the front. Um, I think it, it wouldn't hurt to have a little extra room, but she doesn't desperately need it. It's not choking her. It's just fitted. Um, but yeah, it's for a little dragon going to the Ren Fair. I'm so excited. It's so cute. Um, I'm being Snow and Pat's being Charming and the dog's being a dragon. Why not? Uh, it's supposed to rain. So can everyone just fingers crossed that it stays in the sky and rains that night and doesn't really fuss that much? Um, I don't mind walking around when it's a little chilly and everything, uh, but wet, wet stinks. And I'm in white, so I won't be able to sit on anything because I'll get dirty. So I might actually need to pack a trash bag and just 
towed it around with me and sit on a trash bag because I won't be able to sit on other things um, if everything's wet. And it is supposed to rain all this week. It hasn't actually, I mean, it, it might be raining now actually. That's, I'm seeing raindrops on our porch. So it wasn't raining uh, this morning, but it does look like it's raining now and it does look like it's going to rain for the duration of the week. So, um, let's hope it gets it all out of its system now. Uh, the wedding is coming up in like 11 days or so. And, um, I, I wouldn't mind it cloudy. I'd love it cloudy actually, cause then Patrick won't need to wear sunglasses, but I really wouldn't fancy a pouring rain because I hate being wet. Like I hate being wet and cold. I become the biggest crank puss in the whole world when it's wet and cold. I hate it. I hate it so much. And I'm going to be so disappointed if we can't get any outside pictures. Um, I'm already so disappointed because fall has not come in the form of trees. There are no colors on the trees. There will be no colors for the wedding. And I'm a bit heartbroken on it. But what can you do? I hoped, I hoped, and October 8th is apparently no longer fall. November is fall, but if you wait till November, I bet your leaves are gone. I don't know. I don't know when the perfect time is. And having to set up a wedding so early in advance, there's really no chance of knowing that it'll be the perfect time. Uh, so you can just hope, just hope. But yeah, so uh, things are winding down getting excited. Uh, I can't believe it. I have uh, four more classes, four more days of classes to teach, and then I will be on break. So uh, after tomorrow, I have one more Thursday, and then I am scooting out, uh, hopefully around lunchtime, to take a train uh, to Philly, which I need to book. Work on that. Um, and so it's just been, it's been a whirlwind. It's been an absolute whirlwind and, uh, and a joy. And enjoy to go through. Um, I am excited to get to the day and then I just want time to slow down so I can enjoy everything. I've heard it flies though. Uh, I've, I've photographed weddings. I know it flies. But I'm gonna try to make it last. I am videoing everything I possibly can that day. Um, I did put in for the iPhone 7 and that should be showing up to the store in Cherry Hill any day now and um, hopefully this Sunday I'll be able to go and pick it up. So uh, one, I hope I'm filming on my super sweet camera next week. I do have the tripod, which is how we're a little bit further back into the couch, um, not having to sit on the edge of the ottoman. I have you on the ottoman now. So uh, it's going well. It's going well. Uh, well, to wrap up, I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Um, sorry if this was a long one. and. Uh, I'll try to tell you when the knitting starts, you know, do a little timestamp or something so that you can kind of, if you just want to hear me talk about knitting, you can find it. You don't have to listen to all the acquisition-y goodness. Um, yeah. So reminding you and myself to take it one cup at a time and have a really excellent week. Don't let the rain get you down. And I will see you next week. Bye.